Why would God ask Abraham to do something which could be considered wrong to offer up your son if you believe it's wrong to offer up your son? Why would, why would, why would he do that? Why would not the way that Abraham passed the test which is, would be to say, I won't do that because you're asking me to do something wrong. So you consider... Secondly, secondly... No, 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 before you go to the second one, let's deal with one at a time. No, 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 secondly, yeah. secondly, why was Abraham's... Uh, why did Abraham's son have to be ransomed with a great ransom? Why did that, Abraham, it says, we have ransomed him with a great ransom? Okay, before before we answer that, can you... Let's, let's deal with the first question. The first question, yeah. you said so it's the you, same physical location. No, no, you, you consider, do you consider sacrificing a... A human being, wrong or right? Do I consider sacrificing a human being? <laughs> uh, I suppose, unless unless God does it wrong. No, no, not. I asked you. I didn't ask God. Mm -hmm. You're no, not no, God. No, I'm bringing God. Don't, don't speak on behalf of God. Well, I, I, I I'm asking you, because sir. Because so I think it's your. It's a question you need to answer. Do you consider sacrificing a human being as wrong or as right? I believe that God has the right to do whatever He chooses. Again, you're answering on behalf of God. I am. But I, you're not God. Human sacrifice is wrong, right? Alhamdulillah. Right? But what we're talking about in Abraham was a foreshadowing of what God did. It was God who offered up His Son. Is God a human? Carry on. He's got, God is I not human. I'm interrupting. God Carry is on. not human. Jesus was God in the flesh. So is God reconciling the world to himself so when God did something God can is the law was made for man not for God God is above anything that he's commanded or done God can ask man to, can't ask man to do something but he himself has the authority to lay down his life through Jesus Christ so God yes could do that he's the only person that could do that Nobody else could do what God did through Jesus Christ. So who died on the cross? God? Hey. God or human? Who died on the cross? Both. <laughs> Seriously? So you believe God died by I, his own creation? I believe that Jesus Christ... You said both. I believe not God in his... Well, this is where... Ah, this is where it gets complicated, isn't it? By the way, you know you're foreshadowing. A foreshadowing means something which transpires, which happened in the past. Yes? So during the sacrifice of the son of Abraham, was that completed or was it substituted? In the case of Abraham's son, was that a substitution or was there an actual human sacrifice? There was a substitution. Thank you. What was the case in the case of Jesus Christ? Was no, no, wait, wait, wait. What happened during the case of Jesus Christ on the cross? Was that a substitution like the way Muslims believe? Yes, one of the opinions, by the way, is a substitution. Or was it like the Christian narrative where there was an actual human sacrifice no which you earlier said was wrong? There's no substitution. Thank you very much. So there's no foreshadowing. Carry on. So why... The foreshadowing comes true from the Islamic narrative, not the Christian narrative. In the case of Christian narrative, there was no substitution. There was an actual human sacrifice which this gentleman clearly stated is wrong. And I agree with him that God would never ask a human sacrifice to be conducted to appease him because that is the way of the pagans yes the Aztecs the Incas the Egyptians these people used to conduct this sort of sacrifices to appease their gods the false gods and in the in the Bible in the Old Testament it says when the when the people who were worshiping Baal the false god yes they used to sacrifice their children they used to burn their children to this Baal to appease him and God said in the Old Testament this is something which would never even cross his mind this is something that he would never even consider. Yes? So let alone a human being who considers it wrong, God Almighty himself considers human sacrifice as wrong.